What am I doing here? I've done nothing. I'm not saying another word. Mr. Holmes? This is where I keep my post. A spot of whaling, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No, but we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible, but if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man, morphologically, I mean? Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before, on the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. Thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Wonderful. Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. Brave, Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. Leave me alone, please. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise, yet. Holmes, you should aim for the mark in order to perform the most reliable test. The harpoon has struck the body, but with insufficient strength to pierce it straight through. Ha! 
Holmes, you should try to aim better and throw as hard as you can. This is the best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck. If it was luck, then it was a chance of a thousand that night. Well, yes. Let us leave now. All right. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. Very well, but please hurry. Of course. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. Mr. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This man is a harpooner and his initials are P.C., the same initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. Wiggins, could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. We found Patrick Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch pub where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir. If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor.
Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you want? We've heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me. You were lucky. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that. Well, good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. I'd like to buy you a drink. Good winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well. At least you're not as poor as me. Why do you say poor? You're not working. I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So, as a result, I find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. A harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Ah, of course. It's been a dozen years since I sailed. I've seen everything. Old Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger. We sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Black Peter, you say? I've heard rumors about that one. He was the worst of them all. He was a liar, and violent too. 
swigging those fists of his around. He's a tyrant and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. I see. Yes. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Tell me, and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year. Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn. And I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her, and he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she had foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. And who was he? I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. That's strange enough. Aye, even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. And of course, nobody could ask Black Peter about it. You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night, two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. Those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. All right? Of course. Back in a second. I'm off to the Kazi. I'll be here with my drink. Here it is. Have you got any tobacco? I've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, uh... Oh, it is! Well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab's his name. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe, if you like, I. I'm done here. It's time to leave.
Good afternoon. I must be at the wrong address. I'd like to speak with a ship's captain, a Captain Ahab. Is that you? No. My name is Sherlock Holmes. That detective fella. So, you wanted to see me? That is correct. We need to talk. About what? About Black Peter, who was killed in his own hut with a harpoon. You know, don't you? Yes. How? The tobacco pouch. You recognized it. Oh, the sailor. It was you. Unbelievable. Well, fine. I confess. But if you really do know everything, you should also know that I didn't want to kill him. He made me do it. I know. Did you know about this story with the bond certificates? Did you need money? Yeah. I just wanted him to cough up a little silver. I'm out of work, and I thought maybe he could help me. Well, he refused outright, and he insulted me. I reminded him I knew all about that murder he committed at sea in 1883. Then he got mad when I spoke about his treasure. I barely just had time to throw the harpoon at him before he could jump at me with his knife. You know the truth? What will you do now? I ask that you return the bond certificates. Keep some of them. You will need them in your exile. It is better that you leave the country for a few years. And you won't say anything to the police? I will not say anything as long as you return the money. Well, I'll do as you ask. But what about Inspector Lestrade? I will deal with him. Goodbye. It's good that you asked me to come, Mr. Holmes. We do need to talk. About what? What do you mean? Our case, Mr. Holmes. You sent me a message via your little thug. His name is Wiggins, Inspector. Telling me that the case is solved. Well, Mr. Holmes, tell me, who is our murderer and where is he? The morgue. Eh? His name is, or rather was, Pablo Coventrao. He was also on the ship with Peter Carey, and he was a harpooner. I'll tell you everything, Inspector, but do calm down. Mrs. Hudson will bring us tea and orange cake. Orange cake? You're spoiling me, Mr. Holmes. That's my favourite. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Inspector Lestrade told me that I should thank you for clearing my name. He also said that you were waiting for me here. I came as fast as I could. I cannot thank you enough. It is all because of you that this nightmare is finally over. I believe that this belongs to you. My father's securities? Incredible! But how did you get them? It would take far too long to explain. Tell me, this is extraordinary. You are a genius. Then that may serve as an explanation. Goodbye, Mr. Nelligan, and good luck. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes, and thank you. A thousand times thank you.